Unto us conducted by a team led by cardiac pioneer Professor Christian Nithling Barnard. It made headlines all over the world and changed the landscape of cardiac surgery. In the early hours of the 3rd of December 1967, the lives of Bernard, Dennis Darvel, and Louis Washkinski became intertwined forever. It's 1967 and 25-year-old Denise Darvel and her family are on their way to visit friends. Denise and her mother Myrtle are hit by a drunk driver while crossing Salt River's main road. The young woman sustained serious head injuries and is taken to Grutteskir Hospital where resuscitation attempts are fruitless. Her father, Edward, is approached and he gives permission for what would become a monumental surgical procedure. Louis Washkansky would become the recipient. By that time, scientific research into heart transplantation was well established worldwide. But it would be this man, Professor Christian Nietling Barnard and his team of specialists, that would become the first to do it. The donor heart is prepared by Dr. Marius Barnard and his team. In the adjoining theatre, Professor Christian Barnard and his team wait for the heart. Washkansky's heart has been removed. When he cut Mr. Washkansky's heart out and I got the opportunity to peep over the drapes and I looked inside and saw this empty chest of this man without a heart in it, I thought it was really scary. Um, I couldn't believe it that just this machine was keeping this patient alive without his heart. Professor Barnard carefully sewed the donor heart into place in Washkansky's chest in an operation that lasted nearly five hours. Then he gave it a defibrillating shock um, to get it to beat in a, a contract in a more a normal rhythm. And that was at two minutes to six on the Sunday morning, the 3rd of December, and then everybody started smiling and laughing and shouting congratulations Professor Barnard and we were all so happy. Washkansky lived only 18 days and succumbed to pneumonia. But the unthinkable had been done and since then more than 500 successful heart transplants have been performed at Grutteskir Hospital. I'm very grateful that I was able to live another 30 years after the first transplant and also I was, uh, I'm very grateful that I was able to see the advances made in this field and uh, to live to the day to when uh, heart transplantation is a very successful operation and uh, what's more is that the patient who live after the operation live a very, a, a very normal life. The monumental achievement is a testament of selfless love, courage and bravery. But it's also a story of a young woman, a man granted a second chance, and the daring genius of a little boy from the Karua, Christian Mietlin Barnard. He passed away in 2001 at the age of 78.